previously on The Stanley Parable. This is so important to the plot. They're going to ask you how many leaves. And if you don't know the number of leaves, they kill you. And uh, you can't get the true ending. I know I already said you got the true ending with the credits and such. But, like, the actual, like, truly truth truth ending is by knowing the number of leaves on this fern. And now back to too many bloody endings. Hey, this is Alpha, back with a let's play of the Stanley Parable. When we last left off, we went mad and found out that it was all in Stanley's crazy brain. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I think I've done all the endings on the right side. I think. Yeah, I've done all the right door endings, so left door or yes. This one. Let's go. Yet there was not a single person here. Yes, either. yes. We have already Feeling went through all of that. Disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Wait a second, guys. There's more stuff that if I do it and then I do it again. So I'm just going to wait this out a minute. There was nothing here. All right. <clears throat> I did the broom closet bit. Time to move on. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Down for madness. Up for something else. Hey, look, it's the place we went to in that one ending. I want to go in the executive bathroom. All right, let's see if I can pull this off. It's sort of hard. Okay. So, basically, what you want to do, okay, what you want to do, is no, all right. Oh. <laughs> I've abandoned you, narrator, and now I am free, free. I can go into the executive bathroom all I want. No, I can't. But I can go back down the stairs. Come on. I'm free! Oh, I can still go down. I'm going to see what happens if I go down. Oh, it's just closed. Okay. It's closed, and also this is nothing. It's just some red light. Alright. I thought I discovered something cool, but I didn't. Now you can't bother me for going in the room closet! Yeah. <laughs> And all the doors are open. All the doors are open. I can go back to my office. Whew. Here I go. Going back to the start. And my door is closed, but this one's open. Into the unknown goes Stanley, with no narrator. Come on. 
loading. It's you are now leaving. <gasps> Yay! I'm free! I'm free! Elevator doesn't work. 754. Okay. Escape pod bay, floor 760. And I'm on 754. It's really dark. All right. 755. All right, here we go. Seven fifty six. Seven fifty seven. It's getting darker up in here. There we go. Seven fifty eight. Seven fifty nine. I can feel it. I can feel the freedom. Seven sixty. Escape pod launch bay. Warning: the escape pod will initiate relay. The once. So it's disabled or paused. The. Well, thanks. Basically, I think what it's saying is you can't. Um, I, I think it's saying that you can't do it with, with only one. You, like, you need the narrator to actually escape, so it's like worthless. Escape pod! Escape pod! Oh! Did I? Oh, I did not escape! It's never the end, is 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 never the end, never, ever, ever the end! It's never the end! It's never the end! I thought I was free, but I wasn't. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I was free. <laughs> I was free. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Get it? It's ironic. In a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. All right, now to actually walk into the office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud. Burr, 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 burr. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad <gasps> behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And uh -huh. so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two eight 
four, five. Eight, 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 couldn't eight, have known this. eight, 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 the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. Yeah. If he knew that the combo was two eight four five, uh -huh. it would be another story entirely. Of course. No. Nah. No, this is what he was going to do instead. Yes. Three seven five two. Nine two six two. No. That's the letter to spell Xana. Oh. Ooh, eight seven four five. Useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five. Nope, never. One two three four. Damn it! Zero 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 zero. Two, eight four five. Nine 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 zero. One one one. Two. One, 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 three. I'll eventually get it. It turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. <laughs> they got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Whoop de do. <laughs> he just opens it for you. What's over here? Nothing? Alrighty. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, loading! Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. <laughs> Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Ooh, so here's the underground facility he was talking about. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Hmm. Hmm. Do I go to the Mind Control Facility or escape? Mind Control Facility? Escape. Escape! Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I don't care. Give me the violent death. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Give me the death. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Give me the death. Here we go! There we go. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his That's life, gonna hurt. Reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. No, none. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this really is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eye holes from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. As Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. These are jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Yeah. The Stanley Parable. 
And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death, death becomes, becomes meaningless, meaningless making, making life the, the same. same. I love that line! Do you see, see that, that Stanley was, was already dead, dead from, from the, the moment, moment he hit start. It's one of my favorite lines. That when every path is laid out for you, death is meaningless. Making life the same. Super depressing. It's the basis of one of my characters characters in a role play I'm doing. Nature paints. In a role play I'm doing um Wow, Stanley's computer. So yeah, this is a museum of the Stanley Parrot. Uh corridor. This pacing of the opening section was important to get right. The corridor had been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches two doors in good time. Uh, Briefing of the office from the beginning of the game. The path falls Stanley. Sections have been added and altered through development. The core layout is almost identical to the first iteration. And there's two choices and it's like one of the first ones they did. Oh, look at some of their assets. Doors and button sounds is a keypad and a beep. Yeah. Yeah, so here's the credits, all the lovely people that made the game. Ooh. Ooh. Kevin Brighting. I love your voice. And also, all of you lovely people, you did an awesome job. You deserve all the credit in the world. What's over here? Boss's office. It's gone through different iterations. That one's the most boring. Ooh, a clock. The underground. Oh, here's I hear things. Oh, there's. Mhm. Mm I want to hear your outtakes. I want to hear the out. I want to hear like actual outtakes. All right, well, it's not the thought. Where were all of his coworkers? Oh, I don't know. How about they're throwing a surprise party for him for <gasps> button pushing? Does that sound plausible to you? Yes. I love it. All right, where else can I go? I like the narrator outtakes is my favorite. Maintenance room. That's where we got the confusion ending. I like this decor. Looks like Castle Oblivion from Kingdom Hearts. Point of Stanley Parable, HD Relix is to lose. The point of Stanley Parable is to win. Larger text words saying it's the sort of stuff. Of, am I going crazy? Maybe it isn't the same image. Was that clock there before? I don't remember. How do I go back? Can you check for me? Uh, these are screenshots from the Stanley Parable HD Remix. More endings, fewer endings. More narration, fewer narration. More Stanley and less Stanley. So much Stanley. In previous versions, the choice leading to the apartment ending, a timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. 
not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending, which is why I tried not picking up the phone. I misread that in a Let's Play I saw. I thought it was that it, it was part of it. Oh, it's the same lift, but it like looks more better. This is his ending, which has never made it to. His ending went through many iterations. This room uh, represents the fourth version of the ending, and we thought it was complete, but had to abandon it, which sucks, because I want to know what it is. The delivers are originally part of the ending, but we're not going to tell you what the ending involved, because fuck you. Escape menu. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized that was what they were supposed to do. Oh. This screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as Zending, which eventually was cut and merged with another part of the game. I wonder which one. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know which one. Nope. That's the backwards button. Uh, originally, you could go up, which is what the the narrator said. Go up to the power source and stop this injustice. That's what that's from. Early version of the freedom ending, which we'll get to last. Ooh. One of the discs from an early version of the countdown ending. Okay, well, we'll get to that later too. Ooh. All right, I'm bored. <coughs> Where is uh, the exit? Have I been here? I have. Exit. Oh, here's thing I haven't seen yet. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens, which I'm totally for. The action of the game would be the action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose tone for the game. Plus some of the people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. That would have been awesome. Ugh, whatever. Alright, where is the exit? The flow of the hallways from the first two doors was important to get right, since players will replay them so many times. We discussed a number of designs, but ultimately it was the simplest version that won out. After the second trailer, we sent out we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these in further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are our selections of those emails. Oh. What's so bright? What do the lights in the control room do? I really want to know. Stanley's office. From left to right, the, ele the evolution of Stanley's office over time. This was created... Ooh, this office. And then more office. And finally, that office. My god, this is interesting. I was already here. Uh, I want to leave now. I want to leave. I'm all done. I'm all done looking at Stanley's stuff. There we go. How did I not see this before? <laughs> Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. 
That's what everyone wishes, to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? Yeah. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. And push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. But if you do choose it, don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Well, I guess I'm just dead forever. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, and leave a comment or Stanley's going to come haunt you. Ooh. And as always, guys, have an awesome day.